Hey guys, it's Dianelli. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna get started by giving you a few disclaimers because what's a video of mine without a disclaimer? The quality is probably bad. That's because I no longer have my iPhone XR, which had amazing quality and I do not want a camera to record because I'm a broke person so you're stuck with the iPhone 6s quality. I'm gonna start by cleaning my brush because I just washed my hair and I don't want the brush to like dirty it after i washed it this is how i clean it i remove it from the thing then after i remove it i take all of these little things out but i can't take them out right now i don't know why and then i clean it this is how you take i think i might have broken it to <laughs> put them back in but this is how they come out except the whole thing comes out so if you haven't noticed i'm like really tan right now because i was on vacation to the dominican republic which was amazing i'm still a little sunburned i got horribly horribly sunburned insert pictures right here this is the result after i peeled all over my face my chest although i peeled i'm still sunburned underneath and it's still really sensitive when i like to touch it and i'm still tan although i peeled and i have this weird tan line right here as you can see but it's okay it's all a healing process right now I'm going to start by doing my skincare routine, which I won't show you because I'm going to do a separate video about my skincare. So if you want to see my skincare routine, please comment down below just so I'll know. After you saw those pictures of my sunburns and you seeing my face now, this has only been about 5 days since I peeled and my skin looks amazing. So if you want to see my skincare routine that I've been doing to make it look this good after all that, just let me know. I look very dewy because I just sprayed some rose water on it and it's still wet. But let's proceed. My hair is like three different textures right now. And I'm going to tell you that it's not heat damage because I do not put heat in my hair unless it's like a special occasion, which usually happens like three times a year. So I only straightened my hair last year 2018 for thanksgiving and new year's i think i think for christmas my hair was natural yes it was natural on a slick back and then i straightened it once to check the length of it when i trimmed it the reason why my hair has so many different textures is because my parents are two different looking people so my mom she has very curly but like soft textured hair so it's curly but soft more like this textured hair right here but like really curly and then my dad has this texture hair which is like more kinky but he's barely curls it's more like an afro and i'm so lucky that i have like both of the hairs all tangled up in my hair my hair is a bit damaged because of the hair dyeing that i was doing and i was not taking care of my hair when i was dyeing it my hair is dry as you can see if you see those ends down here that are not curly it's not just the ends if you see it it goes all the way to the root my hair grows with that texture that's how you can tell it's not heat damage it just grows like this except for the front hairs and from the bottom layer of my hair those grow very curly because of that reason I usually use two different hair products in my hair or probably three what I've been using in my hair is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and it's great for all of my hair it's great I could use that on its own and it will work really good it's actually very thick which might not work too good on the less curlier hairs but it does do the job what I've also been using is and it's like a two gel and it's called curl and lock gel or something like that. those are my go-to and I've also been using the curl Ulala by Aunt Jackie and it's defining curl custard and it's really good I've been avoiding the Antu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream Oh, actually, I haven't used this one. Wow. Maybe this one would be good for my hair. But I've been avoiding the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream because that one doesn't really work for all of my hair. It only works for the more drier and curlier hairs. This um, claims to activate your curls, delivers volume and shine. Reveals freeze-free bouncy curls. My curls aren't very bouncy all over my hair, but we're going to see what this does the first time using it. I'm not going to be using my lock and curl gel from Cantu today or my Shea Moisture because I left it at my cousin's house in her suitcase. I'm so sorry for the long ass intro. I'm going to start by starting with the bottom layer of my hair. That's how I do it when I have time. If I don't have time, I will normally just wet all of my hair and put a bunch of my hands and 
spread it all over. I have absolutely no product in my hair right now, so it's a mess. I'm gonna take my spray bottle because my hair dries really fast when it has no product. I make sure my hair is really, really wet. Now I'm going to take the Cantu Moisturize and Curl Activator Cream that I have never used. It looks very similar to the Coconut Curling Cream. Probably thicker. Or just as thick, I think. So I'm going to put it on the hair. Y'all, can we appreciate my skin right now? Like, yes. I just haven't had good skin in a while. I don't know how I like the way it feels. It's really soft on my hands, but not on my hair. Let me brush it now because my hair probably got tangled after. Okay. I think I only would like it on the curlier hairs. I don't think I like it. My hair gets stuck on my fingers. It made it really thick and really like hard to brush. It's not making my hair soft at all. I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of the Aunt Jackie's. You see this one's actually making it soft. And I scrunch some of my hairs, not all of them. I'll scrunch this back here because they have a harder time looking nice. I don't understand what's wrong with this hair. Like, I'm gonna have to do a lot of hair mask because these hairs are struggling. I had my hair in box braids for a month when I was on vacation. Um, and I was going to the pool and the beach for my box braids. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that my hair is so freaking dry right now. I did wash my box braids of course and try to wash out the chlorine out of my hair but when I took out my box braids I had massive massive amount amounts of sand in my hair. You see this Cantu is going to work right here on this hair. I know it because I know Cantu works on this one. You see on this curlier one and on this one. That other side over there is not going to cooperate with this Cantu product. So these are my favorite ones because they actually curl when I brush them. As you see. Not this. This don't curl <laughs> when I brush them. They curl eventually. So it does work on these curls but I have to add some on the root because it's very dry. I used to have very damaged hair because I used to perm my hair five years ago or so. I used to perm my hair and then I used to straighten my hair every couple of days. Now this is all my natural hair. Like I grew it out, I cut it. It's not permed or anything. I'm adding a lot of product to this area because this area literally needs it. It gets the driest. It might look like it's not gonna curl or it's not gonna get volume, but you guys will see later. It's what I want all over my hair. That's what I want. I'm going to talk about the reason why I keep my hair really short. And it's because of this hair it's right here. This hair shrinks so bad. This whole section down here and in this area shrink a lot. And then the top section up here do not shrink as, ma as much. So what happens is that it looks like I have shorter hair underneath and long hair on top. So for that reason I keep my hair really layered and really short because that way it's not longer than this hair so when it dries. There's so much wrong with my hair right now, I don't even know where to get started. I take big pieces because I do not want to spend 5 hours sitting here. I think I'm going to use Aunt Jackie's on the back here and then come to up here. I wish I could just use one product all over my hair and call it a day. Sometimes I have to use three. Now this one does look like it's damaged a little bit on the ends because as you see the root is curlier and then the end is done. Hair dyeing damage which could be repair. It's been getting repaired. My hair was way worse. Jackie sorry here on my hands. All the way up the root. I usually trim my hair every few weeks a little bit. I know it's like a lot, but I just wanna get rid of dead hair. 
as fast as I could and my hair grows incredibly fast. They're not, they're not so bad. They curl up real nice later on. I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna stop repeating myself and I'm going to just time lapse the rest of this progress because you guys probably don't want to see me do the same thing over and over and say the same thing. So. Yo, this Aunt Jackie's product has my hair feeling like butter. It feels so soft. I think I want to put it to the side just so people can see this curls on this side because they're really pretty. Can you love and hate your hair at the same time? Because I literally love my hair, but I hate it today. I'm done putting product all over my hair. As you see, this side is a little more dry and it had already gotten a little more volume on this side. This side, I just literally just put product on it. On this side, guys, it will look like this side. In the meantime, I'm going to do my makeup and get some clothes on. I'll skip that because I don't want to show you guys doing my makeup and putting clothes on. But I will do uh, an everyday makeup routine pretty soon. This is all you get. Once my hair is all dry, I will use a scalp oil and I'm using the tea tree by pairing you scalp oil and this scalp oil has tea tree oil and olive oil and it reduces itchiness and it just keeps your scalp really moisturized and it's really helpful for me because I get really dry scalp and it gets like flares all over it although my hair is clean so this has been helping out a lot like I was in braids for a while this helped my scalp so much this also helps hair grow and I'm just like so excited to keep on using this, it's really been helping. Um, so yeah, this scalp oil is great and it's only like $5. So I'm done with my makeup. This is my everyday makeup routine. That doesn't mean I do makeup every day, but it's the makeup I do when I do my makeup, unless I'm going somewhere like fancy or whatever. I just want to show you all my makeup. Today I'm not looking forward to getting volume, I just want like the wet hair look. I hope it stays like this. And so this is my hair and I know I said I will show it to you when it's dry but I'm actually going somewhere and I don't think I'll be able to show you guys my hair when it's all dried up but I will probably insert a picture at the end of the video right now of how my hair looks like when it's dry but this is it this is the out the turnout it turned out pretty cute and I'm tired so low because my stepdad's sleeping and he works nights so I'm trying to be a little discreet but yeah thank you all so much for watching my video i know i'm boring today but it's just that i can't be loud i would be so much more energetic if i could um thank you for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed please like subscribe and comment down below what i'm what you want me to do in my next videos i know my next video is going to probably be skincare routine and everyday makeup and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed see you guys in my next video bye